Hello, and so lovely to see everyone again. I'm Daniela from Lungmaster Learning System. In this episode, I have some short and meaningful stories for you guys. So, let's practice our listening skills. Before we start, please make sure that you have subscribed to our channel. The Wheat Buyer In a very remote village, there was a farmer living with his mother. His mother's hair was all grey. She was as old as the hills. The farmer took good care of his mum daily. They earned a living from a small wheat farm. After a long day working, the farmer returned to his small house and shared with his mom everything that happened during the day. It was routine until one specific day. He harvested all the wheat in his field and sold them to a new wheat buyer who just came to the village a few weeks ago. The crops earned him good money. It was the first time he had such a big sum. After paying the farmer, the wheat buyer said to him that he was helping his brother build a sheep farm in the village and no one did this kind of work before. This could be a big business. Therefore, the wheat buyer wanted the farmer to join him and his brother. The farmer dithered for a minute and said, I'm unsure about this. I need to talk to my mum. He told his mum everything that evening. Mum, I really want to join this business. This could change our financial status. Listen, my son, we don't know the wheat buyer well. There were a lot of con artists these days. You can't trust him that easily. Tell him that you want to meet his brother. If he gives excuses to avoid the meeting between you and his brother, we trust him no more. The farmer then did exactly what his mother said. When he came home, there was a big smile on his face. Mum, I met the wheat buyer's brother. He looked very kind. He said he has a very big open space for the sheep. Is that so? Next time, tell him to take you to that place. His mother said, the next day, the farmer came home after work. The wheat buyer had taken him to see the place. Okay, this time, ask him about the sheep. Where will he get the sheep from? His mother said to him. The son continued to do what his mom told him. Mum, he said he will get the sheep from a farm in the next village south from here and it's too far. He could not take me to see the sheep, the farmer said sadly. My child, he is lying. He could never find any sheep in the southern area. Don't you remember? Your neighbor just came home from the south last month. He said that place is all covered with forest. 
There were no villagers there. He trusted his mother and decided to tell the chief of the village. The chief then went to find the wheat buyer, but he'd run away. He left nothing behind in his house. Thanks to his mother, the farmer didn't become the next victim of fraud. Where is my mum? It was night time. After dinner, Selina had a fight with her mum. It was because Selina took a toy of her little sister and did not give it back. Due to Selina's temper tantrum, she yelled at her mother. Her mom was quite shocked. It was the first time Selina reacted this way. The room covered with silence. She stared at Selina. Selina could see the disappointment in her mom's eyes. Then she ran upstairs and locked the door. The child broke down into tears. She did not hear anything from downstairs. Hours had passed. Selina felt quite strange because no one came to her room. The whole family just took no notice of her. Then Selina opened her room and tiptoed downstairs. What surprised her was that there was no one in the house. Where are my parents? My sister? Where have they gone? She was very scared and nervous. She did not know what had happened. After a few minutes passed, Selina saw her dad come home. She ran towards him. Dad! Dad! Where have you been? Selina asked. Now you get out of your room, you selfish child. It's your mum. She ran out of the house. Your sister and I tried to find her, but we couldn't. Her dad said angrily. I can't believe you did that to your mum. Do you feel any regret at all? Selina did not say anything. It was her fault. Without even thinking, she ran outside to find her mum. Mum! Mum! Where are you? Mum! I'm so sorry. It was my fault. I shouldn't have shouted at you. Please, come back. Please! She said desperately. She kept running and running and went to every corner in the street near her house but could not catch sight of her mother. The child was very tired. Her eyes were swollen. She sat down on the pavement, tears falling out from her eyes. Selina felt that she started to lose consciousness. No, I can't faint now. I need to find my mum. No. Selina then woke up startled. It turned out to be a nightmare. Selina immediately went downstairs and hugged her mum tightly. Mum, I'm so sorry. I should not have shouted at you.
It's my fault. Please forgive me. Oh, my dear child, as you admit your mistake, I will forgive you this time. You should never do that to anyone who hasn't done you wrong. Yes, mom, I promise I will never make this mistake again, Selina said. Mom, can I sleep with you and dad tonight? I just had a nightmare. Yes, darling, it's late now. Let's go to sleep. Tell me about your dream tomorrow morning, her mom replied. From that nightmare, Selina learned her lesson. She kept telling herself not to make that mistake ever again. An ebullient lesson. It was a Tuesday morning. Like usual, students in class 5A had a lesson that started at 9 a.m. Miss Dusley was a teacher in charge of this class. That morning, she had a small surprise for her lovely students. With her was a huge bag. Put inside it were cakes and candies she bought for the students. She wanted to have a small celebration because this Tuesday was the first day that the kids got back to school after a long summer break. When she entered the room, all of the students stood up and said, Good morning, teacher. Good morning, class. Have a seat, she said. I have something for all of you today. Wow, teacher, what do you have in that bag? Don't rush, Amy. I have some cakes and candies, but I will give them to the students who contribute to this lesson. So, I need you guys to pay attention to the lecture and then, when the class finishes, let's see who has the most candies and cakes. After the talk, there was a loud round of applause as the children wanted to have her candies and cakes so much. Almost everyone in the class raised their hands to answer the questions as well as to inquire Miss Dusley more about the lecture. It was a very ebullient morning. The class was full of laughter. When the very last minute of the lesson finally passed by, the teacher said, All right, class, that's all for our lesson today. Thanks so much for your contribution. I'm sorry, teacher, but who do you think is the one who contributed the most today? A student asked Miss Dusley. <laughs> My children, as far as I can see, all of you did great in the lesson today. So, all the cakes and candies will be divided equally for all of you as a gift for your hard work, the teacher replied. Hooray! The children were very excited. Then, the class enjoyed their small party together. And that is our short story for today. Please listen to the short story several times. 
This method will improve your listening skills. Now to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you guys want to know more about our English courses, please leave your contact number in the comment box below. Thanks again for learning with us. I'm Daniela and this is the Lung Master Learning System. Bye for now.